Hey, it's Jeff here, your YouTube reviewer of New England Brews, and welcome back to NEBR, New England Beer Reviews. On the Merrimack River, I'm going to be reviewing another offering from Outhouse Ales of Northwood, New Hampshire. This is their Coffee Oatmeal Stout. Comes in with an alcohol by volume of 5.0% ABV. Uh, it says on here, there's only one little tiny note at the bottom here for those who uh, need to know this information. It says, contains lactose. So anyway, uh, I've had several of their beers. I've reviewed most of them on my uh, page, and I'm going to review this one now. It's one I've been kind of looking forward to. I like uh, these, this style of beer, the Oatmeal Stout. And uh, I'm going to just try to open it all here because I have no table to put stuff on. So let me open it right now and give it a shot. There we go. There goes the cap, and let's pour it into a glass. Small little glass I brought along for the walk. I'm not that far from where I live, quite frankly. I, I walk down to the Merrimack River quite regularly. That is my, part of my daily walking routine. Uh, and here we go, there's the pour. Excuse me for a second while I put this down out of camera view. And I'm still here, and there it is, okay. Take a look at this glass have here a nice dark brown pour. I mean, you can see how brown that is. It looks black from the distance, but if you look at it really closely, hold it up to the light, it's definitely a brown pour with a kind of a nice sort of beige tan head up top, a small thin one, um, and uh, it seems to be fading down just a little bit. It seems like it would leave a little bit of lacing along the way. Aroma-wise, oatmeal, chocolate, dark malts, grains, sweet, and of course, coffee. It is a coffee oatmeal stout, so coffee and oatmeal. I think I had that for breakfast this morning. Coffee and oatmeal are in the aroma here. Mmm. But they're not super strong. They are there. They kind of balance off each other really well. Taste. Okay, now, first of all, the body is really kind of on the smooth side. And I'd put it into the medium range. Not quite full, maybe just a little above medium. Easy drinking, I will say. It goes down pretty quickly. Now about the taste. You know, I'm getting a good stout quality to it. The coffee and the oatmeal. The oatmeal is a little more noticeable than the coffee is. Coffee's more subtle. The oatmeal tends to be a little more forward uh, in the flavor. Uh, along with the dark malts that accompany uh, a stout of this nature. Mm. Coffee stouts seem to be the, all the rage of 2014. I've seen dozens of new coffee stouts from breweries all over the country, and I'm not sure what the rage is. Maybe it's, there's such an interest in coffee and, and beer, and they're both a, a brewed type of brewed from basic ingredients, you know, coffee beans and grains and malts and so on, to brew a beer or a brew a cup of coffee. Mm. Again, easy drinking. Uh, there is an interesting bitterness to this though. Uh, just kind of a not, a, not a biting bitterness, but a slight hop bitterness um, that just lingers at the end. Uh, just, a, a, just a touch of this bitterness that kind of lingers off. I mean, again, you're getting the, uh, you're getting more of the malts and you're getting more of the oatmeal than you are the coffee and the flavor, although I'm picking up, as I mentioned at the start, I am picking up the coffee on the nose pretty good. But um, it's more like a light roast coffee. How's that? Hmm. But again, there is a definite bitterness on this thing. Um, lingers on. It, it's um, an earthy sort of bitterness, like the earth around me and the water around me. An earthy sort of bitterness. New Hampshire earth, because this is from New Hampshire. Hmm. And it goes down real quick. I mean, look at this. I'm going to be finishing this one right off. I'll finish it off right now. Ooh. Leave some lacing to the end. Tasty beer. A nice beer from Outhouse. And this is the Outhouse Coffee Oatmeal Stout. Thanks for stopping by. I'll catch you again next time.